Welcome back everyone to another command block invention. Now this one is one pretty interesting and um, it, it's pretty simple too. Now what to do is, when I, I will try to drop these items in my inventory, the diamond sword, the bow, and the arrow. It gives it back to me and the arm disappears on the ground. Now this is a useful tool. It can be used for like servers, so like if you have little arms in your hopper to give the player and they teleport you to like the hub or something. You don't have to play a drop them, you can easily do that just by doing this. Now I'm gonna show you how this thing works. We have three stations here. This one is for the bow, and this one's for the sword, this one's for the bow, and this one's for the arrow. It's pretty straightforward how this works. What it does is this is a clock, it sex blocks the redstone, and it also destroys it. So if this is like the fastest clock, it runs I believe 20 times a second. And what it does, it, it kills all the entities that aren't players. So when I drop it, it the arm automatically gets killed because this command block keeps going. But it doesn't kill me because it doesn't kill any players. And it also activates this command block over and over again, which tries to clear a diamond sword. And it has a score of 2 0, which means it won't actually clear it. But that, when it's compared, it turns on as a text that you have a diamond sword in your inventory. And then it turns this torch off. Making this not activated at all. And it gives you a diamond sword. So when you drop it, then you don't have the diamond sword in your hopper anymore. This turns off, turning this torch on, activating this, and giving you a diamond sword again. And the same principle goes for the bow. This is a bow. All you do is name it bow. And the arrow. Pretty simple. Has a has a set block command. This is the command. If you, um, I'll put these commands in the um, description so you can just copy and paste them into your board if you want to use this thing. And it runs 20 times a second, activating this and this over again. So anytime it sees this, it automatically kills it, detecting if you have that in your inventory. And if you do, this torch is off, which means this doesn't get activated. But when, it, but when you drop it, then it's activated and gives you a new one. Now, if I try to shoot something right now, the uh, arrow that I just saw that disappeared. And the reason for that is because it keeps killing all of the entities that aren't players. Now you can probably, you know, you easily do that just by making so it doesn't kill any of the arrow entities either. And then you can shoot arrows again. Now, um, I think that's just gonna wrap up this little tutorial. It is pretty basic. It only wants some four command blocks. Now you need you need one station for each item you have in the person's inventory. So yeah, pretty simple concept, and it's nice to use if you want to make a server or anything like that. And uh, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.